Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about one case study of a differential relay which got tripped by differential red phase and differential yellow phase or phase A or phase B differential current. So here the differential current for phase A and phase B and phase C are 4.37 per unit, 2.47 per unit and 2.08 per unit respectively. And bias current for phase A, phase B and phase C are respectively 5.27 per unit, 5.26 per unit and 6.74 per unit. So in this video I will discuss whether the relay has given a correct trip signal as per differential setting or not. So here the setting has been given in the characteristics diagram which is differential current versus I bias current in per unit quantity. So initial setting which is given in the differential current is 0.2 beyond that 30% uh, slope which start uh, this 30% slope will meet at origin and this 30% slope will up to 2.5 per unit of bias current. So beyond this bias current 50% slope or higher slope start. So this is the characteristics of the differential relay or MICOM P648 relay. So, here uh, for tripping region for the first region that is up to bias current 0.67 per unit, the differential current must be 0.2 per unit. So, that relay will send a trip signal. So, for bias current uh, which is greater than 0.67 uh, and up to 0.2.5 per unit, the differential current must be greater than 0.2 plus 0.3 into I bias current so that relay uh, give a trip signal or this differential current will remain in the tripping region and un if the differential current is less than that of uh, that uh, the relay will remain in the blocking region or restraining region and the third region which is uh, for which the bias current is greater than 2.5 but I differential current must be less than I differential high set. So for this region the differential current must be greater than 2.5 into 0.3 plus I bias minus 2.5 into 0.5. So the differential current remain in the tripping region. Okay, So in this video I will discuss whether the relay has uh, given a correct trip signal or not. For the uh, Phase A, for the phase A, slope for phase A, since the bias current uh, for phase A, phase B and phase C are 5.27, 5.26 and 6.74 per unit, we can conclude from the characteristics curve that the bias current uh, will remain in the 50% slope. So the differential current must be greater than uh, uh, as per characteristics uh, that is differential current must be greater than 2.5 into 0.3 into uh, plus uh, I bus minus 2.5 into 0.5 so that relay will remain in the tripping region. So slope can be calculated whether it is greater than 50% or not for all the phases. So for phase A, slope for phase A can be calculated by the formula I differential minus 0.75 uh, divided by I bus minus 2.5 which must be greater than 50% or 0.5. So here the differential current for phase A is equal to 4.37 per unit and bias current for phase A is equal to 5.27 per unit. So here the slope uh, can be calculated by the formula is equal to 4.37 minus 0.75 divided by 5.27 minus 2.5 which is equal to 1.3 which is greater than 0.5. So slope remain uh, in the differential current remain beyond the 50% region. Again for slope for phase B which can be calculated uh, by the same formula that is I differential minus 0.75 divided by I bus minus 0 0.25 uh, which must be greater than 0.5. So here the differential current is 2.47 per unit and bias current is equal to 5.26 per unit. So slope is 
2.47 minus 0.75 divided by 5.26 minus 2.5 which is equal to 0.62 which is greater than 0.5 or 50 percent slope. Again for phase B the differential current remain in the beyond 50 percent region or tripping region. Again for slope for phase C which is given by the same formula that is differential I differential minus 0.75 divided by I bias minus 2.5 which must be greater than 0.5. So, here the differential current is 2.08 and bias current is 6.74. So, slope for phase C uh, which can be calculated that is 2.08 minus 0.75 divided by 6.74 minus 2.5 which is equal to 0.31 which is which is less than 0.5 or 50 percent region. So, differential current for phase C remain in the restraining region. So, the indication which is shown by the relay that is phase A differential trip and phase B differential trip is correct and true. So, if you like my video then please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video.